Hi, this is Isaac Ho, Tacoma Personal Trainer from BFit Tacoma. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about medicine ball training. You know, medicine balls are something that have been around for a long, long time and they're considered a great functional training tool. Now what you see behind this is we have three different kind of balls. We have the regular med ball, which is, which is pretty much the old school. These are, are bouncing. Now every med ball has its place in a program. It just depends on how you're programming. So for athletics, what you'll notice if you have a wall to bounce it off, this one has a little bit of bounce. Now, what's really popular these days are these overhead ball slams. You notice how much this ball bounces. So unless you have really good reflexes or you're using a heavy ball that isn't gonna bounce too much, this is not the best tool for that job. But this tool has a lot of great uh, exercise that you can do with it. For example, you see people do rolling push-ups, which with a ball that is that soft over there is not, not a great tool. And with a ball that's soft like the jam ball, will be pressed into the ball. So this is a great core stabilization. I can roll this ball here and here, right? I can do a push-up, I can modify, I can do explosive push-ups, jumping from side to side. What I also like this ball for, uh, you might have seen this, right? So there's a lot of good uses for this ball. You don't want to discredit this ball. I know they're not as popular anymore. These are especially good if you have a, a wall to do half kneeling drills because of the speed that it comes back. If you look at what a plyometric exercise compared to a power exercise is, a plyometric exercise is an exercise for the amortization phase, which is basically the period of time from where you generate power and release to when you reabsorb the energy to, to generate power again, it's quick. So an exercise where I slam the ball and it hits the ground and doesn't move, like for example, if I use one of these jam balls, up, boom, and you see it didn't, that is, that, that is a power exercise, not such an actual plyometric exercise. So they both have their place. I also really like a ball that's firm like this for an exercise like a wood chop. So if I'm doing a wood chop or even a rotational wood chop, I'm gonna use a ball like this. So these kinds of balls definitely have their place, maybe if not for slamming straight down. This exercise ball is a jam ball or a slam ball. This is the one where you saw if I do a ball slam. The key note on this one is that if I drive my hips back and I come over, that once I'm here, I have to get really good at sitting in my hips to get to the ball, or I have to start to break at the knees a little bit. It depends on the person. So you have to be a little bit more technical and move a little better to use this as a slam ball. If I use something like a Dynamax ball, now a few years ago I took a course in Dynamax ball training with people who invented these balls. They're actually not made for slamming. One of the few exercises that they teach, um, of all the exercises they teach, none of them are slam exercises. So I will show you a few exercises that are unique to this ball. But you can see if I did use this ball for a slam, as I go back, it automatically comes back to my chest. Because it's so soft, I don't have to worry about hitting my, my face. But as I go back, with the, you notice that, where am I? I'm really, really high in the hips. So it's like doing a partial range movement. So one reason I don't use it is one, the people who invented the ball didn't intend it for that. And so it's really not a, a quality ball for that. It'll, it'll wear down quite fast. And it really has a lot of good uses. The second thing is that if I always did this with my client, it would be like letting them lift like this. It's very, very limited. And what we're doing is we're not developing the full range of motion that my client should have. It would be like letting someone, because that ball will eventually get light. If I give you a 25 ball, pound ball, and you use it all the time. Yes, you're using heavier weight, but you're losing a lot of what should be the most important for anyone, and that's range of motion. Being able to get all the way up and all the way down. So this ball, once I develop that range of motion, teaches me that, okay? Now this ball can also be used, for example, if I'm laying on a bench on my back and I throw it up as hard as I can, someone else can grab that ball, drop it, and I can do power exercises with this ball. I like this ball a little bit better for that as well, because once again, it is softer. If you, for example, were to miss a catch and this came back down on your face, that wouldn't be fun, but that one is a little bit more packed. Let me show you a few exercises with this one. We have different colors here. I beat the Tacoma, this is a 12 pound one. Now, with most of my personal training clients, it really just depends. Like this six pound ball, I have a martial arts background, so boom, all right, if I'm doing these little knee ball drills, right, I can go down and back across the gym, I can pass those off to somebody. We can do partner work with it. But if you use a heavy ball, driving back for this for speed is not what you're trying to do. So you wanna make sure you pick an appropriate size ball. I'll show you one more exercise that I really like with this, and I'm gonna use this wall so you can see it. So these are called log tosses. What I really like about this exercise, I typically was to do this with a hard ball. One, it's coming back rather fast. 
and two, it doesn't have quite the grip that I want. So in the log toss a lot, like kind of swing, I'm gonna pass through my legs, project to the ball. So from this, from this angle, I'm hips back, right? So it's hips back, boom, right? You can see how you can do that with a partner if you do a very metabolic league, and that's a good use for this ball. You might see very popular wall ball. People come down, pass it up, and then come back down. That's an exercise that you can do as well, once again, not intended, really. Some exercises you might see are overhead setup passes, right? Uh, with a partner, obviously you want a longer lever on that. There's a lot of things you can do with the Dynamax balls besides just slam them. So I hope that gives you some good ideas for med ball training. Once again, this is Isaac from Fit Tacoma. Have a great day.